Welcome to Marshall University, home of the MAC Championship. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Western Michigan Broncos and the Kent State Golden Flashes. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of EA Sports NCAA Football. I'm Brad Nessler, joined here by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Broncos have to play mistake-free football just to compete in this game, but I doubt that'll help them that much. Right, Lee Corso? Oh, I absolutely agree with you, Brad, 100%, and I'll tell you why. Kent State is going to go after the defensive front early and just pound them. Kirk, don't be surprised if these guys will run for 400 yards in this football game. Easy win. Coach, I think you're right. I think this one's a blowout. Kent State is led offensively by their highly talented wide receiver. Brad, I think he could have a career game against this defense if he plays the whole game. But if it's a total blowout, I wouldn't expect to see him much in the second half. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. Western Michigan lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Number 17 kicks it off. Foster fields it at the two. Jake on the tackle. four-yard line. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. It's a blitz. And they finally bring him down at the 36-yard line. And he busted that one wide open. You know what? Great blocks up front. You're able to do that as a ball carry. I'll tell you what. I think the Sunshine Scooter, Lee Corso himself, could have picked up a couple yards on that one. Not so fast, my friend. Ball on the 36. It's first and 10. Defense lines up at a 4-3. Here they come. Sheds that one. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Second and one. Mason lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. First down. They'll bring him down at the 13. Nice pickup on that one. Boy, it always helps when you're running behind a bunch of big daddies like these guys. First and ten. Ball on the 13. Mason alone in the backfield. And down he goes at the five. They line up in the jumbo set. And they're in. Touchdown. touchdown. Kirk, that was a nice touchdown run. Yeah, it was. Excellent blocking here and a nice job of the ball carrier to get in there for the touchdown. <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. Kent State to kick this one off. Yates and number zero back deep to return. Stuckey kicks it off. 
And this one's going to come back to the 20. Well, he sure got all of that one. Yeah, I bet the special team coach loves to see that one. First and 10. The Broncos with a stack backfield. They'll run the option. He's looking for his man. He's got the first. Durham with a takedown at the 31-yard line. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. Yates lines up in a deep back. High formation. Westgate brings him down at the 28. A couple of yards there. Second and seven. Kent State comes out in a 4-3. Drop back to pass. Rolls right. He guns it to the left. And it's incomplete. Ball on the 28. Third and seven coming up here. The golden flashes bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He throws it. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 20. Seven yards there. Ball on the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. Yates picks up the loose ball. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Ball on the 32. Kent State comes out at a 4-3. Castillo steps back to pass. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Ball on the 32. Kent State lines up with five defensive backs. Back to throw. Throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did, because they were coming. They're in field goal range. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up. And it falls short. No good. i got to see that one again. First and ten. Kent State comes out with an eye formation. And down he goes at the 37. That'll be a gain of five. It's second down and four to go. Western Michigan lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back. Heaves a long one down the middle. First down. Carey with a takedown at the 32. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Broncos use a four-man front here. Demps 
Brings him down at the 20. Well, they picked up some good yardage on that run before they could bring him down. Brad, that was a sensational run right there. This kid is very good. They're inside the 20. The Broncos come out in a 34 defense. They're coming. Carey with a takedown at the 13-yard line. About six yards on the play. Second and three. Ball on the 13. Mason is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. The defense held strong on that play. They sure did. They're playing some intense football out there now. After a quarter of play, our score is Kent 7, Western Michigan nothing. And we're ready now for the start of the second quarter. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Western Michigan lines up defensively in a 3-4. Drops to throw. Let's it go. And it's incomplete. And that is a missed opportunity. No question there. He needs to make that catch there. Because now they're looking at fourth down. Fourth and three coming up. Justice into attempt a short field goal. He gets it up. And it sails through the upright. Kent State is ready to kick it away. Number 11 and number 24, deep to receive. Stuckey kicks it off. Yates fields it at the three. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 21. Western Michigan goes with the ace set here. He passes it. Incomplete pass. He just couldn't get to that one. Well, he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket. May have rushed things a little bit. Needs to be a little bit more patient. Step up and make the throw. The golden flashes come out of the 4-3. Missed tackle. And he's taken down. 24. That's a three yard pickup. Ball on 24. It's third down and six to go. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. Ball on their own 24. Fourth down at six. Foster, back deep to return. Number 66 gets it off. Foster fields it at the 38. First and ten, ball on the 38-yard line. The golden flashes go with the eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. Didn't get anything. The 
Ball on the 39-yard line. Ace backfield. Second and nine at the 39-yard line. Back to throw. He throws it. And it's caught. Carey brings him down at the 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. First and 10. The Broncos use a four-man front here. Check that one. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. Ball on the 33-yard line. Western Michigan comes out of the 4-3. Hillier tackles him for a loss on the play. Nothing gained on the play. Ball on the 34-yard line. Third and four. Mason lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Drops back to pass. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of about five. Fourth down and nine. Ball on the 39. Yates back to return it. He punts it. Ball on the 21. Four-man front by the defense. Castillo steps back to pass. And that one's fallen incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. They come out in a nickel. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Nothing going on that one. It's third down and 10. Western Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. He's looking for his man. Off his hands, incomplete. Ball in their own 20. Fourth and 10 coming up. Foster, the return man. He punts it. Foster fields it at the 34. Tackle at the 37. And that was a sensational punt return. Yeah, Brad, he got some really good blocks downfield and busted through. First and 10, ball on the 37. Western Michigan lines up with five defensive backs. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He lets it go. Carey tips it away. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, Coach. I agree 100% with you. So it's second and 10. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. Brought down at the 31-yard line. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. Ball on the 31-yard line. We've got third and three here. Mason is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Defense is blitzing. He passes it. He's got the first. And he's tackled at the 13. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Ball on the 13. First and 10. Kent State lines up in a goal line set. They blitz it. 
Number 37 with a takedown at the 11 yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 11 yard line. The Broncos come out in a 4 3. Back to pass. Number 12 makes the catch. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. And he hits the PAT. Kent State lines up for the kickoff. Number one to kick off. Number 11 and number 24. He kicks it. Yates fields it in the end zone. A little juke. Ball on the 27-yard line. First and 10. Kent State brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. Complete. And he shoved out of bounds at the 35. That ball was thrown high. Yeah, but this receiver knew he could jump up and get it. Great play. Ball on the 35. Second and two coming up here. One man backfield. Castillo back to throw. He's on the run. He unloads it. And it falls incomplete. What happened on that one, Kirk? Well, I think he's trying a little bit too hard to make that perfect throw. Just step back, fire the football. Don't think so much about it. Ball in the 35. Third and two. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Back to throw. Now he's scrambling. Fires a bullet over the middle. Incomplete pass. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front. Getting right into the quarterback's face. Ball on their own 35. Fourth and two. Foster awaiting the return. He punts it. Oh, he got nailed on that one. It's picked up. Fletcher brings him down at the 37-yard line. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Kent 17, Western Michigan nothing. Kent State will be kicking off to start the second half. Stuckey kicks it off. Stucky kicks it off. That was some kick. Yo, does that guy have a leg or what? Ball on their own 21. It's first and 10. Ace backfield. He drops back. He's looking for his man. And it's caught. Pop with a takedown at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. Second and less than a yard. Defense lines up in a 4-3. He drops back. He throws it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. Ball on the 30. Four-man front by the defense. Third and inches tackle at the 32 yard line now they stuck with a run and it pays off for them. you know what Brad so important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push and that's what they did there to pick up the first down first and ten ball on the 32 yard line the Broncos come out in the shotgun back to pass fires across the middle tipped away 
Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Ball on the 32-yard line. Western Michigan lines up in the ace set. Steps back to pass. He's going to try and scramble. Castillo is going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of about three. Ball on their own 28. Western Michigan comes out in the shotgun. Castillo steps back to pass. Let's it go. Intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 29. And a fantastic individual effort on that one, Coach. Kirk reminds you a lot of alley ball. Yeah, Coach, I agree. It kind of reminds me of backyard football. You know when you kind of bait that quarterback, hoping he tosses it up, so when the ball's released, he just steps up to make the interception. Number 42 brings him down at the 26-yard line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 26. Ace backfield, drops back to pass. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. A big play by the defense right there. Well, that's a great individual effort there. He just bull rushed and went right through the line. Rare combination of power and speed by the defense. Ball on the 32. Kent State comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Foster hangs on to it. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. State to kick this one off. Yates and number zero back to return. Stuckey kicks it off. Stuckey kicks it off. That was some kick. Yo, does that guy have a leg or what? It's first and ten. Castillo is back in the gun. Back to pass. Throws it out there. Number 10. Bats it down. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Four-man front by the defense. Castillo drops back. He lets it go, and he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. Ball on the 37. Kent State comes out at a 4-3. Drops back. He unloads it. Number four drops the ball. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Ball on the 37-yard line. One man backfield. Back to throw. Rifles it right side. Complete. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. The golden flashes line up with a nickel back. Drops back to pass. And it's incomplete. the 42-yard line, so it's second and 10. Western Michigan comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Castillo drops back to pass. He lets it go. Number six with a takedown at the 33-yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Ball on the 33, third and one. The Broncos line up in the Maryland I formation. Yates gets the call. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And he was stopped short of the line. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Ball on the 
Ball on the 36. Fourth and four. Number 17 comes out to try a long field goal. This is going to test his power. It's up, and this one doesn't have the distance. Ball on the 36. It's first and 10. Mason lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. And down he goes at the 46. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. The golden flashes line up in an eye formation. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And he's tackled at the 40. Nice pickup on that one. Boy, it always helps when you're running behind a bunch of big daddies like these guys. First and 10. Ball on the 40. Mason is a deep back as they line up in the eye. And down he goes at the 36. That's a three-yard pickup. It's second down and six to go. 4-3 defense. Number 55 brings him down at the 22. And he picked up a nice game there before being tackled. Man, does this kid have some speed? Hello. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Back to pass. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Ball on the 22. So it's second and 10. They line up with split back. There's a missed tackle. Number 42 with a takedown at the 20-yard line. Two-yard pickup. This is the seventh play of this drive. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Kent 24, Western Michigan nothing. And we're ready to start quarter number four. Third and seven coming up here. Kent State lines up for the split backfield. Back to pass. First down. State will line up in a jumbo set here. Just past the tackler. Dimps brings him down at the four-yard line. And he picked up decent yardage on that one before they could drag him down. Yeah, that wasn't a bad little run there. They're crowding the line. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. And so they're able to finally get this one in the end zone on the ground. You know what? We always talk about the running backs, but I got to give some credit to the offensive line there. They made that play happen. <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. State is ready to kick it away. Number 11 and number 24, deep to the sea. Stuckey kicks it off. Yates fields it at the three. 
Nowhere to go on that return, Kirk. Well, Brad, two things here. You need to do a better job of blocking up front, but also you need to get the ball and just attack. Don't dance around and let the coverage swarm all over you. First and ten. The Broncos set up in the gun. He drops back. Let's it fly. He's got the first. Number 10 with a takedown at the 43-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and 10. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Castillo is going to be sacked for a loss. A four-yard loss. Ball on the 39. Yates, alone in the backfield, drops back. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of about two. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 36. Yates lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He guns it to the left. Number eight has it. First down. They'll bring him down at the 48. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. 4-3 defense. He lets it go. Mosling brings him down at the 47-yard line. A loss of about six. Ball in the 47. Western Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. And they back up three yards on that play. This is the sixth play of this drive. One man back to you. Back to pass. He unloads it. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Nice pass, but not enough for the first down, and that's going to bring up four. I know, I know, yeah, but nice pass and catch. But when you don't convert the first down, it's not as nice as you'd like. He's looking for his man, Durham, with a takedown at the 30. And on fourth and long, they convert it. Guys, I can't believe what I'm seeing. That was a heck of a play. Ball on the 30-yard line. Defense lines up at a 4-3. Drops back. He throws it. It falls incomplete. And he overthrew that one badly. Whoa. The receiver's fast. But he's not that fast. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30. The golden flashes line up at a 4-3. Drops back to pass. He rifles it to the left. Number four with a catch. And they finally make the stop at the three. And he delivered a nice pass there, coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. Going with the shotgun here. He passes it. Number 18 knocks it away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. Ace backfield. Castillo back to throw. He unloads it. Complete. And they make a nice play there to get it in the end zone. Yeah, what a great play by the quarterback. He knew where the ball had to go and he got it there right on target. It's the PAT.
Western Michigan lined up for the onside kick. Number 17 with the onside kick. And the tackler. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Kent State lines up in a goal line set. They'll bring him down at the 36. That's a gain of eight. Ball on the 36. Second and one coming up here. They put everyone up on the line. Here comes the defense. He's got the first. Takes off a tackle. Martin brings him down at the 21-yard line. He got a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they could slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. It's first and ten. Defense lines up at a 4-3. First down. Number 55 with a takedown at the nine. They had a tough time bringing him down. Well, he's running really hard right now, Brad, but how about the offensive line? They have their heads on a swivel, and they're looking to knock anyone down their path. the end of the ball game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it's a little closer than most people would have expected, but I'm sure they'll take it. Kent State didn't play their best game and they'll admit it, but this is college football where every game counts, and if you win, you're happy. If you lose, you're not. It's that simple. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2002. And our final score on this one, Kent 31, Western Michigan 7. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.